Hello and welcome to this video in which we will tell you about an interesting technology that improves the output from your solar PV from a mere 20 odd percent to over 80 percent energy conversion. So Elon if you're watching this please take notes mate. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire people towards engineering technology and sustainability. Subscribe to get all our latest updates. Solar PV is a great technology that has grown leaps and bounds, particularly over the last two decades. But its efficiency remains around 20% even in premium panels. So only 20% of the energy intercepted by the solar panel is converted into electricity. The rest of the 80% is lost. Now this may not be important for people that have large roof areas for installing solar panels. But for people with limited roof space, like in an urban setting, that 80% lost energy means a lot more. Even a cursory look at the solar PV technology tells us that it is approaching a point of maturity. Although technology development is adding extra power to the panels, but only in small increments. In recent years, we have seen cut cell, PRC and bifacial solar technology has improved the gain of panels. But we are now coming to a point where in order to squeeze more out of the PV panels, we have to look either towards the prohibitively expensive multi-junction solar cells used in satellites or bank on perovskite cell, which has the potential to go further than crystalline silicon cell, but at present it remains unstable and degrades quickly. So is there a way to make more hay out of solar irradiance? Yes, there is. It is by using a solar PVT panel or in other words a photovoltaic thermal hybrid collector. As the name suggests it is a combination of solar thermal collector and photovoltaic cells that maximize the solar gain with the simplest of methods. It provides both electricity and heat as an output. And the best thing about it is that the two technologies complement each other and work symbiotically. If we look at solar thermal collectors on their own, we find that they are very efficient devices. In fact, the evacuated tube collector have been recorded with energy efficiency of over 90%, meaning they can convert nearly all of the incident sunlight into heat. Solar PV, on the other hand, can only work with photons in the sunlight of particular energy levels, and the rest of the photons simply pass through and get absorbed by the back layer and end up producing heat in the cells, which is undesirable. In fact, this generated heat reduces the output of the solar cells. The thermal coefficient of the PV panel, a value that is provided with its specification sheet, tells us precisely the drop in performance of the panel with rising temperature. In desert climates, the PV panel temperatures are known to reach above 70 degrees centigrade, to cool the panels down, options like cooling jackets are used. In solar PVT panels, the photovoltaic cells are placed on top of a solar thermal collector. The excess heat that builds up is removed by water running through the thermal collector. It has been claimed that hybrid panels can have efficiency as high as 85% and can generate four times the energy produced from the same surface area for only 25% increase in cost. In Europe and many other cold climate countries, over 52% of the total energy used goes into space and water heating. Heat remains the biggest energy end use. Studies have shown that active heat removal systems can improve the PV panel life from 30 years to 50 years. So heat removal not only improves the instantaneous performance of the solar PV cells but also adds longevity to their life. 20% higher annual output of electricity has been reported for PV alone in a PVT system compared to a non-PVT system. Well, one may ask that if this is the case, then what is a hitch? Why is this technology not so prevalent? Why is it that only a small number of companies are producing it? Well, it turns out that PVT technology is not simple plug and play as PV technology is. Furthermore, in summertime, one can end up with large quantities of water that is 35 to 40 degrees centigrade in temperature and has nowhere to go. For this reason, people with swimming pools are the ones that are opting to install them for now. But there is a way around it. 
The excess heat can be dumped by passing the hot water through outdoor convectors when it's not needed. The fact remains that when we are using both electric and thermal outputs of the PVT, we are essentially saving double the amount of money. In many places, electricity prices are three times the price of gas. And this is exactly the ratio of output you get from a PVT solar panel. That is three units of heat with one unit of electricity, thus doubling your savings. So Elon, if you're listening, your company already makes its own solar panels. If you go this route of the PVT rather than for the solar roof tiles, it will be much more beneficial. Well, at least for me, who doesn't have a roof space enough to accommodate several kilowatts of PV panels. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.